is week 12 of National Top 5, presented by Huddle. I'm Brett Koontz, along with Ali Payne. Can you believe Thanksgiving next week? Time goes too fast. You know what's also next week? Our last regular season Top 5. Be sure to get your plays in. We also have the Top Plays of 2014. Let's see how this week's batch compares. Number 5, we saw Ellicott City's Howard High nine whole weeks ago. Good to know they're still awesome. They're taking on Perry Hall in playoff game number two. O-line gives senior quarterback Kevin Sheehan plenty of time to get the pass off. Christian Dargan is a cornerback, receiver, and safety when it suits him, so he's set for pretty much anything. Brains operating as fast as his feet. Everyone, Lions and Gators alike, are left tackling each other, but never Christian. Brings it home as part of Howard's 28-7 win. They are 11-0. Coming in at number four, North Ockany and Gilmer down south. Georgia does love that run game, huh? North Ockany with the ball. Pitch goes right to senior Kawan Bryant. Keep in mind, he starts at the Gilmer 20. Ankles aren't all he breaks on his way downfield. Trucks a kid at the 50 and another at the 25 before deciding, you know what, first down's good. With a step out of bounds, Titans take home a win thanks in large part to Bryant's 349 yards and six touchdowns. Way up north to Holliston, Massachusetts, the Panthers hosting Middleborough, tied at seven and 55 yards out, when senior quarterback Nick Athley finds Zach Elkinson 30 yards ahead. Oh, captain, my captain, with the catch over two defenders, trots in for six, final score of 35-13, and they've won all 10 games this season. At number two, Louisiana, you've been good to us. Dunham and Holy Savior Menard down to the last play of the game. Dunham ball on the 40, and they're down six. What senior quarterback Jerron Walker to do? Pray. The Hail Mary goes up. Holy Savior knows what's coming. Look at the eight defenders downfield. Tip, tip, boom. Josh Matthews snags it. Dunham upsets the number seven Eagles and advances to round two of playoffs. And number one, Louisville, Kentucky, St. Xavier and DuPont Manual, hands down, the craziest play we've seen all season. Xavier quarterback Noah Hoke gets the pass off just in time, but it's intercepted by DuPont's Antonio Hassel. Unfortunately, he doesn't get far. He's brought down by Colin O'Daniel and the ball is loose. Xavier's Blake Roshowski takes the ball back in the right direction. Tigers go on to survive round two, 12 to seven. Serious contenders for best game winner and craziest play of the season. Remember to get your submissions in over the next couple of weeks. We'll have that countdown in December. Yeah, and remember, next week is our last national top five. Be sure to mention us on Twitter using at huddle, hashtag top play. And we will see you next week.